Hi everyone, my name is Julia Seelan and I'm an associate consultant here at Revelwood and I'll be showing you allocation rules today. The first step in creating an allocation is you want to go to modeling and model management. From this window we're going to click on allocation rules and from here, as you can see, we already have some pre-populated allocation rules. We're going to take a closer look at the office rent allocation US and I'm going to walk you through the steps of making this. So the first thing you want to do is you want to name it. Here we have a description. So this allocation rule is allocating the U.S. rent based on the U.S. levels by square feet percentages. Those square feet percentages are entered in this sheet here. As you can see, it's entered by level at the rent allocation U.S. account. And this comes into play when we're talking about the allocation weight, but I will address that in a little bit. After you name it and you write your description, you want to go to the first source level. So this is where we're going to be taking the allocation out of. So we're going into company A, we're going to pull it out of the finance department. So this is where we're allocating our money out of from this allocation out account, which is considered a system account, which I will also show you how to make. So for making a system account, you want to go to the general ledger accounts and you just click on this icon in the top gray ribbon. Here you create that system account that you refer to in this allocation. After you select the allocation out account, you're gonna to go to formula, and this is gonna be set equal to whatever accounts you wanna pull the money out of. So we're just pulling it out of the office rent US account. And then we wanna to go to target levels, and this is where we wanna allocate the money into. So for here, we actually clicked all of company A, because we want to allocate all of the money into these different entities and levels. So even here we have it going even back into finance. So it's going into every single level in company A. We have it set into a different system account called office rent allocation in. This is where the money is going into and it's weighted by that rent allocation I showed you here. Once you're done on this screen, you go to scope and then you can click exactly what versions you want this allocation to work in. You can have it work in actuals, your budget, and everything, just a few. And then you can decide what period you want the allocation to start and stop at. Right now we have it set to the start of the version and end of the version. And if we're pulling from the actuals, you're going to see this little option here that says you want your source to actuals to come from just actuals. And if you have a different type of manual entry allocate um, actuals account as well as a different actuals version this is where we would select which one we want to pull from so then once we have this all set you just click save on the bottom and then this is what your final product looks like so we were talking about the office rent allocation in and out right now we see the in and the out is a negative value if we go to company a specifically one of the lower levels. So we're going to go to US and we're going to click on sales north. When we go down to this lower level, we're going to see for office rent allocations, we only see that money is being allocated into this level. Nothing's coming out. And yeah, that is the end result of an allocation. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about what you saw today, feel free to reach out at info at rebelwood.com. Thank you.